Hey guys, what is up? It's Terry here, and I'm going to be giving you guys a graphics tutorial today. Alright, so the tutorial today is going to be on how to make triangle brushes. Or, you know, see how these are like scattered triangles. It's just really all it is is a brush. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Photoshop and go to File, and you're going to want to go to New. After that, create a really big document like 2000 by 2000 pixels and then hit OK. OK, now you're going to want to go to your custom shape tool down here. Click that and you're going to want to go to shape. And when you first load up shapes, it should, it, there should be a really small list. So then you're going to want to hit this setting and then click all and then hit append. And then you're going to find this triangle not the outline, the triangle. And then you're going to have this, and you're going to make sure this is turned down to zero, and you're going to make sure there's no stroke, and you can have your fill, whatever you want. Okay, so then after that, you're going to hold down shift, and you're just going to drag. So that's pretty big, it's a pretty good size. And then uh, I'm going to rasterize this. So now I can move it around and all that good stuff. Alright, so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete the background layer so now your background is transparent. And you're going to go up here and you're going to hit edit, define brush preset, and then I'm going to name it triangle brush. and enter for OK. And now you're going to go down to your brush tool and you're going to find all the way at the bottom of the list you will have a triangle brush. OK, so now what you're going to want to do is create a new document and that uh, could be whatever you want. And you're going to make sure you have your brush tool selected. And you're going to come up here and you're I'm going to turn this down a little bit so it's a little smaller than what it was before. Alright, so then you're going to hit this little thing here. It's right next, it's right next, you see that? Yeah, it's like a folder with brushes. So, brush tip shape, you're going to turn up the spacing just a little bit. I'm going to put it at like, like 60. Shape dynamics and you're going to turn up the size jitter all the way turn up the angle jitter to 100 and roundness jitter to 85 after that you are going to go to transfer and turn up the opacity jitter to 100 percent also the scattering could go to 30 or no actually you don't really need scattering you already have the uh, space in here so then what you're going to want to do is close that and make a new layer. From here you could just click and you know hold it and drag. It's just like brushing but uh yeah instead of triangles. So this is a really 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 cool uh, abstract triangles and background. So what you're going to want to do is to uh, make it look a little better. You're going to want to turn down the opacity just a little bit. So now it kind of looks. Turn it down to about 42%. So it kind of just blends in the background. It doesn't show too much. And uh, I just, if you, you see, I just kind of went like that. I didn't really try to make it look very nice. But if you kind of try, you could kind of make it pretty cool, you know, like I always did here. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any questions on this tutorial, or if you have a request for me to make a tutorial on something else, just let me know. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Peace.